Hi guys, this is Julie Scala, your RN body, and I welcome you all dito sa discussion at ng high data for mole or H mole. This is one of the most interesting topic also under your concept of the complications of pregnancy ng maternal and child health nursing. Okay, now talking about your H mole, uh, H mole is actually otherwise known as the molar pregnancy, no? And this is the abnormal proliferation and then degeneration also of the trophoblastic villi. Okay? Uh, ito yung uh, complication na kung saan we actually marked uh, positive HCG test as not a positive sign of pregnancy, but rather a presumptive sign of pregnancy. It's because of certain condition, conditions such as your um, high the TD4 mode. Okay? High TD4 mole is actually a type of gestational trophoblastic disease. You need to remember that one. And in the Filipino setting, we call it kiawa. Okay? Uh, kiawa term on the Filipino setting. Now, it is a type of gestational trophoblastic disease or GTD because we have two types of GTDs. First one is your molar pregnancy or H mole. And the other one is um, your choriocarcinoma, which is a form of cancer actually, where your H mole, if left untreated, may actually lead to choriocarcinoma. Remember that one. Now, talking about the type of prophoblasts in your uh, H mole, we have two types. First one is your complete mole, na kung saan, sa complete mole class, all trophoblastic villi swell and become cystic. So they are complete because they really swell and they are cystic in nature. That's why in your complete mole class, kapag uh, puro complete mole lang I think a case in your H mole class there is really really a rapid growth of the fundus now another type of your uh, trophoblasts or moles in your H mole is the partial mole dito some villi are normal however uh, some actually are misshapen also so dito naman class uh, remember the term misshapen that's why uh, ito ang naglilid dito na maging uh, partial mole siya now, what causes our H mole or high data TD4 mole? First cause that we can have is uh, the low protein intake ni mother. Okay, because of the low protein intake class, uh, it may lead to complication of H mole. Another also is the increased maternal age. Okay, kapag daw sumobra ng 35 years old or older than 35 years old, ang pagbubuntis ni nanay class, it may actually also lead or very, very high risk tayo for having your molar pregnancy or your H mole. Another, according to a Del Piliteri book, Asian heritage or Asian women are very at risk of having H mole uh, than other uh, races all throughout the world. And also another cause, also another um, scientific study shows that blood group A women who marry blood group O men are also at risk of developing or in developing your H mole. Okay, now uh, what are our important nursing assessment uh, for this case or for this maternal complication? First, it's because nga, there is a rapid growth of vesicles at uh, really, really, just like ectopic pregnancy na kung saan mabilis dito ang ma, mabilis sa ectopic pregnancy ang paglaki ng ating zygote. Dito rin sa ating H mole, uh, there is also a rapid growth of the great life structures or the clear fluid vesicles as we call it. Uh, therefore, there is also a rapid growth of the fundus. So remember, uh, mabilis dito ang paggrow ng ating fundus. Now, another uh, assessment also that can be found in your H mole is that there is an extremely elevated HCG levels. So that is amounting from uh, normal pregnancy kasi we have 400,000 international unit. But for your H mole class, it's because ma mabilis dumami yung ating trophoblasts or your great like um, structures which actually contains the HCG hormone, there is an amount of 1 to 2 million international unit of HCG levels. Okay? Now, another uh, thing also na ma-assess natin in your H mole class is that there is an excessive vomiting. This is due to, of course, elevated HCG levels or we call it hyperemesis gravidarum. Okay? Hyperemesis gravidarum and Although this happens, ang tatlong magkakasunod na uh, mga nursing assessments na ito, the hypertension, edema, and proteinuria, they can actually happen uh, more than 20 weeks of uh, pregnancy. However, 
in the case of H. mold class, mas napapaaga ang ating hypertension, edema, and proteinuria. That's why we also need to assess these three. Okay, your hypertension, uh, edema, and of course, your proteinuria. Of course, another assessment also that we can have in your H. mold, no FHT or no fetal heart rate or fetal heart tone is present because in the first place, there is no viable fetus developing inside the womb. Okay, remember that one. Ang tanong, may bleeding din ba sa ating H. mole? The answer is actually yes. Okay? Now, during the start, no? At start of your bleeding, it, it, it can actually have first no, spotting. Now, kapag tinatanong tayo, which is very pathognomonic, or pagkakakilanlan yan ng ating H. mole, remember that the bleeding or the characteristic of bleeding in your H. mole is brown-red or prune juice-like. Remember, it is a brown red in nature or prune juice like okay prune is a type of juice actually which can uh, create juices na available sa ating market it's like uh, brownish also in nature so inihahambing doon at lumabas to one sa board na kung saan inihambing po ang prune juice like no uh, na bleeding in your high dot td4 mold uh, complication another also is that uh, there can also be a discharge of clear fluid field vesicles. Ito na yung mga trophoblasts na sinasabi natin. So these are the things, class. Remember na we can actually assess on your uh, high data TD4 mode. Now the question. Uh, are rapid growth of fundus excessive HCG levels and excessive vomiting or hyperemesis gravidarum pathognomonic to your um, H mode? The answer is no. Remember, Rapid growth of fundus, excessive HCG levels, and excessive vomiting must be evaluated carefully in your H mole if you are suspecting of, of uh, having H mole. Why? Because these conditions can be characteristics also of multiple pregnancies with more than one placenta. Remember this one. Okay? That's why these three are not actually sole or not actually pathognomonic only to your uh, HIDA TD4 mold. So how do we manage our patients uh, with H mold? First, of course, alam na alam natin to, nagbibigay po tayo ng methotrexate, magbibigay tayo ng methotrexate, but uh, in the case of ectopic pregnancy, we give ectopic, uh, we give methotrexate in your ectopic pregnancy uh, to halt the growth of the developing zygote. Upon the other hand, in your uh, ectopic uh, in your H mole or high TD4 mole, nagbibigay po tayo ng methotrexate as a prophylaxis. Why? Because we are suspecting actually that our H mole have already developed into a certain form of cancer we call choriocarcinoma. Oh, okay. And now because we have given methotrexate, of course, we all, need, we all know this one also. We give eucovorin or we prepare eucovorin because this is the antidote for methotrexate toxicity. Now, another we, we, we can also give dactinomycin. Now, if this is, if the case of the patient, if, uh, have, if the HIDA TD4 mole or the vesicles have already metastasized or nagkaroon na ng metastasis, remember that one, we give dactinomycin in some cases. Now, another also, we need to prepare for evacuation or vacuum aspiration of the uh, trophoblasts that has developed or throughout the complications. So remember this management, we give methotrexate not as a treatment, but as a prophylaxis. We also need to prepare for recovering as an antidote. And we can also give the kinomycin if in case nag metastasize na, and then we prepare um, the patient for evacuation or vacuum aspiration. So what are the important nursing considerations for our uh, high dotted formal? Remember these three things. In your H mole class, women need the opportunity to express their anger and sense of unfairness uh, at this type of event. No, they may feel that they are inadequate, madedepress sila, and something went wrong with the pregnancy. Just like also in your ectopic pregnancy. That's why it's very important for the nurse to start uh, to start the management, uh, the psychological management at the hospital. Okay. Okay, while the patient is still admitted. Another consideration also, it is important uh, to teach the client or the patient uh, on the proper use of contraceptives to get rid of pregnancy for at least a year because this has been asked too many times in your examinations. I know that because 
uh, there is a higher chances of recurrence of your H4 or pwede siyang mangyari ulit. Okay? And another uh, important nursing consideration is, is that H mole may lead to a type of cancer called choriocarcinoma if left untreated. Okay? Remember those things. Now that ends our lecture on HIDA 34 mole. Thank you so much and see you also in our next discussions.